Listen, not for discussion. We play with drums like shit is percussion. Stay with a hammer like this is construction. Drink too much Henny, my shoot up. Yo. What's good, YouTube, man? It's Clutch. You're back out with another video, man. Today's video, I got you guys with this Demigod 6'9 build that does have an 86 pass accuracy and it does have really good defense. Now, if you guys did see my 6'9 with 99 block Hall of Fame anchor, this build is pretty similar to that. I'm not going to lie to you. The only difference is the def defensive stats are pretty much the same, but this build does have an 86 pass accuracy. So if you want to use this build for like buys or wreck, you're going to have an 86 pass accuracy. You're going to have gold bailout. Hall of Fame Dimer. All your playmaker badges will be on gold or Hall of Fame. So you're gonna be able to throw steamers. I'm telling you that 86 pass accuracy is something different. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make the build. So we are making the build a point guard and obviously this other stuff doesn't matter. Now, if you wanna make a shooting guard or small forward, go ahead. But like I said, we are going point guard. Now moving on to the height and stuff, man. You can either make this build six foot eight if you want the Hall of Fame quick first step. Personally, I went six foot nine because I wanna have the better defense. So I'm going six foot nine with this player and the weight. We are going 194 pounds because I only put my acceleration to an 80 and an 80 speed. So I didn't go middle weight. Now, if you want the higher excel, go ahead and go middle weight. But like I said, I think 80 excel is fine. My players still be dribbling plenty fast with an 80 excel so i'm going 194 pounds now wingspan now this is a different thing for everybody i know some people do like to have seven foot four wingspan because they like having an 85 three-pointer for silver limitless range if you want to do that go ahead you definitely could but personally i shoot just fine with the 83 three-pointer for silver agent three so i'm going seven foot six wingspan but like i said if you want silver agent i mean if you want silver limitless range or if you want gold agent threes gold limitless range go ahead and do that like i said but personally i shoot fine with the 83 so we're going seven foot six wingspan obviously you have longer arms so your defense is going to be a lot better too and then obviously body shape doesn't matter i'm just going to go built now moving on to the attributes man make sure you guys do copy it down just like this as you guys know i'm gonna go very in depth with how i upgrade everything in case you want to change something now moving on to the driving dunk for this build as you guys know i think if if you're an iso build you definitely want to have at least an 86 driving dunk so you get your gold limitless takeoff at the bare minimum if you're an iso build definitely do not go below 86 driving enough for your gold limitless takeoff like i said if you're a spot up or something then you can go 80 driving enough for quick drops but like i said if you're an iso build definitely go at least 86 but you also get another batch point 87 and at 88 and at 88 you do unlock the michael jordan dunk package so i think you might as well just go 88 i think 88 is the perfect threshold you still get pro driving contact dunks gold limos takeoff silver slithery finisher as you guys see right here bronze fearless finisher bronze acrobat and you get michael jordan dunk package the best dunk package in the game you could jump from the free throw line with that so this is what we're doing for finishing now moving on to shooting man like i said we are giving ourselves an a3 three-pointer which does give you silver agent threes hall of fame space creator and stuff i'm telling you all you need to shoot consistently in this game is agent threes this is the best shooting badge in the game. 2K Lab said there's a huge jump from bronze to silver agent threes. Plus, you still got bronze limos range, silver dead eye, gold green machine, gold amp. This is, I'm telling you, I can shoot really consistently with this A3 three pointer. You guys, as long as you have a good jump shot, if you guys do need a good jump shot, make sure you guys go check out my best jump shot video. I dropped it a couple videos back, but like I said, if you need a good jump shot, make sure you guys go check out that video. In the mid range, we are putting this to a 71 which does give us two extra badges as you guys see it was a 68 69 you get an extra badge point and 71 you also do get another badge point 80, 18 shooting badges that's definitely more than enough and if you need to shoot a mid-range a 71 mid-range is way more than enough to be able to hit consistently honestly i shoot fine with like a 65 mid-range so a 71 you should not be missing with that that's definitely more than enough to hit pretty consistently for threes and your mid-ranges of course now moving on to playmaking man like i said this build does have an 86 pass frequency as you guys see at 85 you do get a lot of good badges you get hall of fame dimer and gold bailout but at 86 as you guys see you get hall of fame floor general gold needle threader and hall of fame break starter and here's the cool thing i do like about 86 pass accuracy at 86 it does give you the name like playmaker or diming something with diming it'll change your build name so if you leave it at 85 it'll still give you the basic two-way inside out score name but if you do 86 it's going to change your name to two-way point forward two-way diming just because your pass accuracy is so high plus you got gold bailout gold needle threader if you guys didn't know gold needle threader actually does help stun defenders so if somebody is playing that passing lane they will get stunned with gold needle threader plus you have hall of fame dimer if you have hall of fame dimer on there's literally no reason your teammates should be missing if they're missing they just they're just trash and they just need a new jump shot or something because hall of fame dimer provides a huge boost and same with floor general like i said you got all the good Plymouth and badges plus you got gold bailout you never have to worry about throwing a bailout and then the pass going out of bounds gold bailout it's a very very low percentage that your pass goes out of bounds with gold bailout i know sometimes with bronze you throw a bailout pass and it goes out of bounds but with gold like i said and plus the catches are cleaner so if you throw a bailout it's going to be a clean catch it's not going to be like where they fumble the ball and they almost drop it 
And like I said, go bail out your passes do not go out of bounds. So this is really nice 86 pass accuracy. Plus you can throw really good steamers in the Pro-Am or even park. I'm telling you, 86 pass accuracy passes are stupid fast. Now moving on to the ball handle, man. Obviously we are maxing this out. Now you could put it at 85. I know a lot of people do do that. As you guys see at 84, you guys do get gold and pluckable. And at 85, you guys see right here, you get gold quick first step and silver handles for days. Most people probably think, oh, I'll just go 85 because all you need is gold quick first step and silver handles for days. But I'm telling you, a lot of people do sleep on this badge right here. If you max your ball handle out to 87, you do unlock clamp breaker, which as I, I have explained in other videos, this badge does help you blow by your defender. So you definitely want to have that on gold. Might as well just go 87 and speed ball. You guys should know this by now. All you need is a 75 speed ball for the Michael Jordan dribble style. So you don't need to go anything higher than that. You have 87 ball handle for gold quick first step, gold and pluck, gold gold clamp breaker, and your 75 speed ball for Michael Jordan dribble style. Now you guys are probably seeing this build does have really good playmaking and shooting and pretty good finish. You're probably thinking, oh, the defense is lacking. But as you guys see, we're only in 83 overall. So this build, like I said, does have some really crazy defense. All right, now moving on to our interior defense, we are going to be putting this to a 76, which is pretty good. As you guys see, you could probably go 75, but at 76, you guys do unlock another batch point, so might as well go 76 there. Now, perimeter defense, you could just go 86, which I usually do, because as you guys know, you get silver clamps and gold challenger and ankle braces and stuff like that, and workhorse. 86 is definitely a good threshold, but personally, I went up to 88, because as you guys see, you do unlock another batch point, so I, fi I figure might as well just go 88 for the extra batch point and steal. Unfortunately, since our wing span is one off the max you can't get a 90 steal for gold interceptor the max you can get is 89 not really a point of doing that i mean you do get another badge point for 88 you could go 88 if you want but like i said i'm only going 85 because that's where you unlock silver glove as you guys see right here plus you get silver interceptor so 85 steel is definitely more than enough now this build does have a really good block like i said you could go 75 block if you want gold chase down bronze acre that's probably the bare the absolute bare minimum i would do if you guys want 93 driving dunk go ahead and put your block to like a 75 or even an 87 but like i said i think that's a little bit too low for this build or you could go 87 because you do get silver anchor at 87 or you go 88 because you get hall of fame chase down that's also another good threshold but personally i went up to 93 block which as you guys know does give you gold anchor badge and gold anchor is a really good badge so you definitely want to have that you're going to be able to stop everything in the paint with gold anchor trust me on that now moving on to defense and rebounding so our offensive rebound we are putting this to a 73 which does give you another badge point and offensive rebound we are putting this to a 72 which as you guys see does give you another badge point so this build can rebound if your teammate misses or if you need to grab a defensive rebound plus you got bronze rebound chaser you'll have no problems grabbing any rebounds with this build now moving on to physicals we are maxing out our excel to an 80 same with the speed we are putting this to an 80 that's pretty much all you need now vertical we are putting this to a 76 if you are on next gen make sure you guys do put your vertical to a 75 for your pro driving contact dunks or else you will not unlock them on current gen you don't have to put your vertical this high but it helps a lot get more rebounds and blocks and more contests in the paint so i'm putting it to a 76 and as you guys know you get a plus four to all your physical attributes with gym rats so you're gonna have an 80 vertical with gym rat and our stamina we are putting this to a 94 that's going to be a 98 with gym rat that's pretty much all you need there and the rest of these attributes put that onto your free throw so you have a 62 free throw which is definitely more than enough to hit free throws if you want to use build in the rec or the pro-am but as you guys can see this is the build right here nine finishing 18 shooting 21 playmaking and 24 defensive really solid build like i said you got michael jordan dunk style you can shoot pretty good 86 pass accuracy don't sleep on that i'm telling you that 86 pass accuracy is something different it's really fast the passes are insanely fast with that build plus you have really good defense like i said you can rebound you got gold anchor you're stopping everything in the paint plus you're pretty quick this is a very very solid build like i said now moving on to takeovers with this build man you do get shot creator sharp playmaker and lock now playmaker you could throw this on because on current and you get the ability to break ankles with this plus it gives you a plus 10 to your pass accuracy so with play take bro you're gonna have a 96 pass accuracy imagine how fast your passes would be with play take so honestly i'm gonna just throw on play take and then you could either throw on lock sharp or shot creator. it's completely up to you i'm just gonna go playmaker and sharpshooter but like i said choose whatever you want playmaker take with this build would be pretty glitchy though and as you guys can see right here man the build is called a two-way diamond three-point shooter which is a really cool name i'm not gonna lie to you similar to lonzo ball Cade cunningham and lamella ball you pretty much get those comparisons on any point guard build you make honestly so i wouldn't really pay too much attention to those comparisons but like i said you have to put your pass accuracy to an 86 because if you put it to an 85 it won't give you the diamond name it changes your name once you put it to an 86 plus you do unlock more bad is at 86 like gold needle threader and hall of fame break starter hall of fame floor general but like i said this name is really cool not a lot of people do have this name right here i don't think i've seen anybody have this name so you're going to stand out definitely 
Let me know what you guys think about this build in the comment section below, man. Make sure you guys do drop a like, subscribe if you're new. And I also did want to say I am going to be dropping the top three best season six builds after this video because as you guys know, on Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern time, season six is dropping. So I'm going to be giving you guys the top three best builds as of season six so I can get you guys right for the new season. So make sure you guys do stay tuned for that. Turn on the notifications. But that's pretty much the end of the video, man. Hope you guys enjoy it and I'm out.